Lorcat's Vanilla Gaming. We'll need plenty of tools, and they'll need repairing too, so we have to have a blacksmith. Forge. The prerequisite for the forge is charcoal, and in addition, you need the trader for getting the charcoal from outside. Income. There's a huge income from the forge. You will get 500 already for the basic structure and 5 new people in your village. In addition, you can upgrade either for swordsmiths or armorsmiths. So really, it's an either or. Depending on what you build, the horse stable or the garrison, it will provide also here and activate upgrades for them. For both, it will be 35. The cost for the building? is 8000, which is a high cost compared to the other buildings, but as said, it delivers a high income. Next, let's look for the decisions, swordsmiths versus armorsmiths. My pa, God rest him, was a skilled blacksmith. He could forge swords as good as any and earned a good living. I'm sure a swordsmith would have a good livelihood here. The upgrade for a swordsmith costs 2000 groschen and will as said, increase your daily income by 250 delivers a huge variety of different weapons. An armorer will always find custom and won't go hungry. We should have one here too. The cost for the armorsmiths is 2000 groschen. It delivers a daily income of 250 groschen. Within the armorsmiths you will get a new unique shield, which is also the best shield since the upgrade. So now let's compare them. What's the difference between swordsmiths and armorsmiths besides the different shop? At the end the income is the same, the cost is the same. You will get also smiths from outside for both of them, which also have more or less the same benefits. Swordsmith delivers no unique items. Armorsmith has a new unique, the Borbag Shield. Both of them will deliver items for your horse, new head armor. In addition, on the benefit side, the Armorsmith will buy more items from you than the Swordsmith. At the armorsmiths you can sell on top of the items you can sell to the swordsmiths also armor items which are not made of steel, like some of the gambisons and so on. But the swordsmith has one advantage above the armorsmiths, and that's the grindstone. I don't know why, but armorsmiths will not get any grindstone, perhaps he doesn't need it to sharpen any weapon. So this means if you are used to repair your weapons by yourself, you should go for the swordsmiths. If you don't need this, I would recommend to go with the armorsmiths. Thanks for watching and make a wise decision for your village. Bye.